Hey, what's up guys? Today on Iceberg TV, we've got a pretty cool package here. I played a little Flex Star C tier today, got home, I took like a 10 minute nap and I woke up and this package was sitting right on my doorstep. This is from OTB. This is the phase one of the 2024 OTB drops. It's one of the most highly anticipated drops of the year. These OTB drops are usually always fire. It's an OTB Discs MVP collaboration where they run special molds and special plastics and they make some of the coolest drops of the year. I'm really excited. I haven't actually looked at these yet. I just cut the tape so it'd be easier to show you guys. So let's take a look here. Um, one thing that's cool is the inside of the box actually was like, it looks normal on the outside, but then when I, you open it up, you just get that little bit excited because they got the nice custom inside OTB box here. We got some paper on here, bunch of stickers. All right, we'll just go one at a time and then we'll obviously give all these a throw so you guys can actually see how they fly. I have no idea what everything is, so forgive me if I'm a little bit slow. This is a, looks like a, like a proton um, flight plate and like a neutron rim. And this is a paradox, which is a very understable mid range. I believe it's got like a minus two and a half or a minus three turn, but this is a disc for really, really ideal for slower arm speeds. Looks and feels pretty solid. It's like, it's gotta be like proton soft here. And then it's a lot more firm on the edge, which is something I'm always a fan of. So you can really sink your fingers into it, but then have a nice stiff rim. It always just feels a little more comfortable for me and my hands when discs are made that way. Oh, that's a beauty. That honestly flew like a pretty stable paradox. Normally I don't like the Paradox, but that had just a nice, perfect amount of late flip to it. Definitely seemed one or two ticks more stable than any other Paradox I've ever thrown. We're just gonna work our way from the top here. This next one has a really cool stamp. I do believe this is gonna be a glitch. It's like a astronaut with his mind exploding because these MVP drops are so fire, he just can't handle it and his mind is just completely exploded from his head. And let's see, are my predictions correct here? This is in fact a glitch. And I know the weights of these matter to a lot of people. This is a 150 gram glitch. Feels again like a proton style glitch. Let's see how stable she is. Oh yeah, that's a laser beam with a nice cute little fade at the end. Next in the box of tricks. We have another Axiom disc. This one has like a cutesy tootsy cotton candy rim on here. I, I can give you guys a little bit closer look at this bad girl right here. It's that cutesy tootsy cotton candy rim there. What is this stamp? So we have some sort of like cavernous half bat, half cave dwelling eyeballs sort of just floating around here with these little Cubert style platforms. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know what Cubert is. But let's see. This is a tempo. This is an actually an Axiom disc that I've never thrown before. Um, to my understanding, it's supposed to be somewhat similar to a zone, but I've never thrown one of these. So I'm actually pretty excited for this one. This is a 174 gram tempo. We're gonna trust it with a little height, a little touch of Annie. That's not Annie. That's not any at all. Pretty stable. Definitely not quite as stable as like a zone. A little bit more of a pushy style zone, which actually I'm a lot more of a fan of than a normal zone. I just find zones just doesn't really do it for me. I think that tempo feels a lot better in my hand than most zones do. It doesn't feel quite as deep in the hand. It's got a little bit more forward push to it, but still a nice controllable fade at the end. I think the tempo to the zone is like a felon or a sexton firebird compared to a normal firebird. So a normal firebird just dumps so hard, but like a felon or a sexton firebird um, for the nine speed slot, they're just a bit more pushy. You can do a little bit more with them, but they still have that dependable fade at the end. Um, that's kind of the vibe I get from just one tempo throw. Oh, we got three more goodies in the bag here. And got another spaceman here he's blasting a death ray um some sort of interplanetary 
death ray going on there. And he's just a brain floating inside of the spacesuit there on the planet. We've got a little creature popping out here. It seems to be he's a little bit too focused on what may be going on above him. When he, he's got some potential bogeys, you know, in, in the depths just underneath his feet, this little alien has um, the spaceman with the laser right where he wants him. And then what is this? Oh, okay, we got a servo here. Over the years, tons of you guys have recommended the servo to me. This is a 173 gram servo. To my understanding, this is a little bit more overstable than a Crave. And I'm definitely a Crave enjoyer. I've been known to enjoy a good Crave from time to time in multiple different plastics. So I'm actually really excited to see the servo here. We're just gonna drill this one firm and flat and see what the turn and fade is like. <clears throat> um, that was probably a little baby hyzer. We got a really nice little flip up, like a baby turn and then a nice fade at the end. If I had to guess the flight numbers are gonna be like a minus one or minus 1 1.5 with a 1.5 or two fade. I don't actually know the flight numbers, but if I had to guess, that's probably what they would be. That's what it is to me. Oh, this, this one's a really good stamp. So we have another Axiom disc. I do like the watermelon style with the green and the pink. I think that's super hot fire. What have we got here? We've got some sort of uh, like dungeon master style rat. Um, and I think one of the biggest predators of rats is in fact the owl. We've got a half owl, half moose hybrid lurking in the trees. Um, and although he looks very confident, I do feel he may be susceptible to this creature behind him. Um, I definitely am under the impression they are probably not friends. And what is the mold we're dealing with here? We've got a hex here. We've got a guy playing golf. I'm gonna throw right to him. Assert my disc golf dominance. That's a nice little flippy hex. That's That hex probably flies the closest to the flight numbers over any other hex I've ever thrown. We've got one last disc here. What is this baby right here? We have a streamline drift and it looks to be in the glow plastic. Um, we've got a disc golfer here playing up the side of a skull. Uh, this is definitely a course that I think I would enjoy. I like the more scenic courses and I like going to play somewhere with unique sights to see. So, you know, potentially that could be me one day playing on, on the side of a snow covered giant skull. And I have no idea what the flight numbers are, but it feels like it's going to be a little straighter than a T-Bird. It doesn't have a nose bead. feels like it's going to be a seven or an eight speed per chance. Let's see if we get a little left to right drift out of the drift. A little bit of flip up but not as much flip up as I thought. All right, they also sent me a few stickers. I don't think you guys really care about those, but I do like the finishing touches with the extra special box here. Um, shout out to OTB Discs for sending me the first phase. I will be going out and playing a full round with only those discs tomorrow. So if you wanna see that, make sure you hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. Um, these will be available at Power Grip USA. They'll sell out fast, so go buy them over there first. Once they run out, you can go get <laughs> They're going to sell out from OTB fast as well. So go to Power Grip first, then go to OTB. But shout out to OTB for sending me the discs. I am super excited and happy to uh, test them out in today's video. Just give you guys a first look. But make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, and leave a comment. So I know you guys want to see a full round with the OTB discs tomorrow. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys. And take care.